Welcome back to another Bible True Story. Our story for today is about Joseph. Joseph said, God put a dream in my heart. In Genesis 37 verse 5, Joseph had a dream and when he told it to his brothers, they hated him. Some years later, Jacob married and had 12 sons. He settled in a place called Canaan land, where his sons tended flocks of sheep. Now Jacob had a favorite son named Joseph, who was born when Jacob was very old. To show his great love, Jacob made Joseph a coat of many colors. Many times, Joseph would come to his father and tell him the bad things his brothers were doing. This made his brothers very angry and jealous. Joseph's brother hated him for this and could not speak kind words to him. One night, the Lord sent Joseph a very special dream. The next morning, Joseph told his brothers all about it. He said, We were in the fields, tying bundle of grain together, when suddenly, my bundle rose up and stood tall while your bundles gathered around mine and bowed down to it. Do you think you will someday rule over us? His brother said, and they hated him even more. Then Joseph had a second dream. He said to his brothers, this time the sun, the moon, and the eleven stars were bowing down to me. When he told the dream to his father, Jacob was very unhappy. Do you believe that your mother and I and your eleven brothers will bow down before you? One day, Jacob said to Joseph, Your brothers are tending to our flocks near Shechem. Go to them and make sure all is well. Joseph obeyed his father and soon found his brothers on a hillside. But his brothers had seen Joseph's coat of many colors from a distance. And before Joseph reached them, they plotted to kill him. Here comes the dreamer, they said. Let's kill him and throw him into one of these empty water holes and say a wild animal attacked and killed him. That will put an end to his dreams. When the oldest brother Reuben heard their plan, he stopped it. Do not kill him. Throw him into the pit, but do not harm him. When Joseph saw his brothers, he ran to them. Suddenly, to his surprise, they all jumped on him and began tearing his coat of many colors from his back. They tied him up and threw him into an empty water hole. As they sat to eat, a caravan bound to Egypt passed by. Judah spoke, Why don't we sell Joseph to these merchants? Then we'll be rid of him forever. Joseph was sold as a slave to the merchants for 20 pieces of silver. When Reuben found out what they had done, he said, How can we face our father having done this? They decided to kill a young goat and dipped Joseph's coat in the blood. They took the coat to their father and said, Father, we found this coat in our journey back home. Is it Joseph's? Jacob knew it was Joseph's coat and cried out, It is Joseph's coat! Some wild animal has killed my son! He must have been torn to pieces. And Jacob tore his clothes and wept bitterly. No one was able to comfort him. Meanwhile, Joseph was on his way to Egypt. Our Bible truth for today is, I will not be jealous of others. Again, I will not be jealous of others.